tell you guys the truth, this is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Flying on these little ledges to take a rest. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We are in Yosemite Park today and it is currently five o'clock, 5.40ish, 5.50ish in the morning. The rain's pretty much passed. We're gonna be doing Half Dome today. Uh, we, I just did Yosemite Falls hike yesterday, which was like a good 6.2 miles. Took me three hours, 3,000 foot elevation gain. Today's gonna be 16 miles round trip. 5,000 foot or 5,143 feet elevation gain. And it should be anywhere from between 10 and 12 hours. My goal is gonna be to do it below seven. It's been raining, it's gonna be slick. The rails are down at the top of the uh, Half Dome area. It's just gonna be an all around good event. So I'm gonna give you guys increments. Probably gonna do like one mile check-ins all the way up until that seven mile mark till we hit the top. And then I will probably do shorter increments on the way down because obviously you saw most of it on the way up. So wish me luck. Let's go have a good time and uh, enjoy the raininess weather we're about to go have. So currently walking over the bridge. You guys can't even see out here. You can see some of the stars. Absolutely beautiful. It's 6 a.m. currently. It's soaking wet out. And we're approaching the trailhead here pretty soon. We're crossing, like I said, the little bridge that goes over top of this river. Starting to get a little bit of light in the sky. Made it to this uh, bridge on the trail. Not sure what bridge this is, but anybody that's seen this during the daytime is gonna know. So yeah, light's starting to finally come in a little bit. Having to use a little bit less of this watch light of mine. And uh, so far so good. Let's keep it chugging. We're about that three mile mark. Hour and 10 minutes total into my complete hike. It's beautiful, as suspected. Just a bunch of ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs, or, sorry, ups and ups and ups and ups and ups. But it's been pretty chill. We've climbed 15-ish hundred feet and we're at 54, 76 now. And I think the top's at 8,900. So got a ways to go. Feeling good though. Happy that there's some light out here. So I'll use my little light on my watch. And uh, yeah, catch you guys another 30 minutes to an hour. There's my first actual view of Half Dome. Being on this trail makes me feel like I have quite a minute until I get over there. It's been like 10 minutes since the last video update, but it's right there. That's gonna be a wild, wild climb. And I believe I have to go to the backside of it. So zig all the way around, around this guy, around this guy. Three mile, 3.2 miles in, heading up to the ice wall or cut, ice cut, whatever you want to call it. We're now kind of on the uh, the back end of uh, Half Dome over here. And you pretty much start from down around this peak all the way down inside the valley. So, been pretty smooth sailing so far. I'm kind of pacing myself, I'm moving at 2.5-ish. And uh, we're an hour and 40 in. Hasn't been too hard, but I'm just trying to make sure I don't cramp up or anything of that sort. It's not too hard though, but it's 33 degrees out, so it's a little chilly. I just got this guy on and nothing underneath it, so. And these pants are pretty thin as well. But, and we're wearing barefoot shoes, which is beautiful because there's, you know, no insulating whatsoever. They breathe. And then I got some darn tough socks on, which are basically saving the day for my feet in terms of temperature. So, catch you guys in another mile, mile and a half. Walking up to the bridge where this waterfall is. Some really cool rocks. I probably felt my water on the way back down from here. Crazy. Super pretty. Oh, up and around this mountain all the way back out there just to come back over to where I can't see half to anymore because it's right behind this guy. Forgot to mention, the most fun part about my turn of, my take at having Half Dome is this, right there. There's even no cables for me. And so far I am four and a half miles away. So that means we're about 4.3-ish, 4.2-ish miles in. Almost to that halfway point. So, say bye to the, the potties, don't need them. Keep on punching through. 4.5 miles in, completely on the backside of Half Dome. 
It has definitely got some snow on top of it. Hopefully the sun that kind of just came out starts breaking things up. Um, everything else, pretty solid. It's been a chill morning. No bears sightings yet, which I do wish to finally see one. Um, I suppose there's supposed to be a lot out of here, but nope. Cool, chill, cozy. Excited to get to the actual wall and see how slippery it is with my shoes and not having rails. So, catch you guys in a little bit. Five and a half miles in. Dome's looking domey. Elevation's looking uppy. A lot of uppy. But this is beautiful. A little snow covered, but I'm sure this most of this will melt off by the time I possibly get out there depending on my pace. Total moving time is two hours and 42 minutes. Um, and then my, my app, my total actual climb time for this trail is like two hours and 20 minutes. So we may or may not make it to the top of this before the three and a half hour mark, which would be really, really impressive, I guess, to me. Florida boy hiking out west at elevation. Cakewalk, let's go. Just want to take some time and appreciate trees like this, man. This stuff is incredible. All of it. So next level. Sun just peeking through. Six and a half, six point six ish miles in. Getting a decent amount of snow now. Still gorgeous. All right, three and a half hours in, eight miles <clears throat> on the clock, which is really seven miles. I feel like we're getting pretty close. Just trying to beat the clouds up here, man. Thankfully the sun's out. Should feel pretty nice once we get up there. Let's keep trekking. Right around the 7.2-ish, 7.1-ish mile marker right there. It's gonna say trail. And this is the first real serious overlook I've gotten to take advantage of or had the opportunity to see so far. Thankfully, the snow is not as bad right here. So not too bad, still absolutely gorgeous. So my second group of people that are chilling over there, they said it is most definitely slippery. And they had poles and correct shoes for this. Finally get my first real serious glimpse of Half Dome. And it is a, it's a big one. It's big. Should be fun though. Catch you guys at the halfway point. We'll throw all the, the Insta in the backpack and try to film some of the way up. So all of this has pretty much been zigzag. Little steps like this leading the whole way up. It is brutal, but it is uh, so incredible. This is just wild. Okay. Keep it going. Pretty much off the route at this point, just kind of making my own track. It is uh, slippery to say the least in these shoes, but I think I'm getting closer to, it's the ladder portion right there. I hope, hopefully that wall is at least, that looks dry from here. So we're hoping it's dry once we get over there. Three hours, 53 minutes to make it to the rope section. So I guess from what my understanding was, I thought the cables would be down, but there would still be steps. So there's no steps, but the cables are still in. This is an interesting one. Okay. Well, let's see how this goes. It's gonna be kind of weird without steps. Uh, it's all gonna be all grip strength, I guess. It's a lot of grip strength. It's a lot of grip strength. Holy shit. It's so quiet up here, man. Clouds are just rolling their way up the wall. It's so, so freaking peaceful. Some big clouds popping off the back where I just was. Let's figure it out. Found out where all the steps are, buried down in there, relative to the wall. Alrighty. Let's get started on this cold ass cable.
Tell you guys the truth this is a lot harder than i thought it was going to be this entire wall is completely slick so it's got ice all over it if you're going to plan to do any of this in the middle of winter time i recommend some good gear maybe even like the climbing harness just lock yourself in or something of that sort if you were to slide down and have something to stop you but right now if i didn't have as good grip strength as i did as i do i would have been truthfully probably dead i would have probably slipped off this so at this time of year, without these steps, I would not attempt this. I'm a decent ways up. I'm basically relying on these little ledges to take a rest. And we've got a decent amount more to go. So I'll catch you guys once we get closer to the top, but this is sketch on the way down. Whew, that's gonna be interesting. I'm freaking dead after that portion. That shit is sketchy. If you had the pegs, this would be a cakewalk. But without them, it was quite difficult. Almost there. Four hours, 19 minutes to make it to this exact spot right here. And my left quad just started to cramp up at the top. So thank God we're gonna be going down. This is incredible. A little chilly, it's still like 35 degrees up here, but. Fortunately, there's a lot of fog rolling in, but this is just super surreal. All right, guys, I'm going to be leaving the top of Half Dome now. We're gonna see how long it takes me to make it all the way back down. So, uh, catch you guys at the bottom. Man, this was grueling. After we get through that cable and that last little steep portion, everything else is gonna be a breeze. So, a little bit of hardship and then easiness. Looking forward to it. Let's get on with it. All these guys over here are totally tripping. And they go, this fucking white boy's doing this shit in barefoot shoes. What the fuck? They're like, did you make it to the top of the dome? You got any poles? You got? Do you have a harness? I'm like, no, and no. And they're like, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, no, no. They're like, did you feel like you're gonna die? I'm like, like halfway up. I'm like, it's kind of sketch, but thanks for that good grip. So they're like, they're not even gonna go to the top, and they have harnesses. Man, maybe I was a dumbass today, but hey, I'm on my way down, so can't be that dumb, right? <laughs> Definitely a little bit more. I'm busy now right about seven hours now well realistically six hours and 30 minutes of my actual trail time seven miles since i started walking it's crazy to think i was just over there less than an hour and a half ago but yet it took me almost three hours just to get over there so keep it going it's been a hell of a freaking ride i definitely am trying to do it sub eight hours so we're on track for it if we're at six and a half right now. So maybe I can bust it out before I hit the seven and a half hour mark. We'll find out. Here's what you couldn't see earlier this morning. We're almost back to the car. Seven hours, 15 minutes. If you don't count the... Uh, 15, 20 minutes up top, basically seven hours on the dot, maybe sub seven hours. But other than that, 
enjoy the rest of this beautiful place. On this watch, we're at 17 miles. The other one, it was 16.68 or 16.7. I'll put it in the thing. I just got to refresh my memory. I like your cook, though. Like, definitely recommend at least a gallon of water. I went through two cliff bars and a protein shake for a good 75 grams of protein. So, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll catch you guys back in the car.